Hey guys, Multi Game Master One reporting in, and welcome back to my Halloween special. Ugh! I have got to get that right. Welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Jersey Devil. In the last episode, we've had quite some fun times with Mick T. Floor and Albert. Again, I don't know who those guys are, but we've had quite some fun with them, what with them tossing bottles around and playing basketball with us. And now in this episode, we are going to navigate our way even further down the darker depths of the crypt. You think that places like this would be scary, but it's just creepy. I mean, the only thing that's scary about this place are the bones that we see hanging on the walls. In my honest opinion, what would make this place very scary is if we had like a river of blood or something. It would definitely be quite terrifying for the average Jersey citizen. Wait, what's this over here? Skulls appearing out of the water? That we can cross on, by the way? Okay, that is a bit scary. And creepy at the same time. But still, I'm going to stick with my river of blood idea. Although I have to say, these skulls possess quite an interesting feature, such as their eyes and skulls. Anyway, hitting this lever... Causes the rocks to rise, and we can backtrack to keep going. Still getting a good look at that skull over there. It is pretty creepy the more I think about it. Wait, what's over here? Jack-o'-lanterns and or pumpkins on a body of water? Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm bought. I'm sold. 10 out of 10. Pumpkins. Best idea ever. And the same for the skulls. It definitely has quite a nice Halloween feel to it. Man, I really wish that I've done this for a Halloween special instead of Luigi's Mansion. Okay, I may have mentioned it way too many times before. I'm not going to mention it again, so let's just keep going, shall we? Okay. Now, this lever activates the platforms over there. Also, you guys are going to notice that I'm carrying 99 lives on hand. This is the maximum that we can carry, so I won't have to worry about grabbing those tails anymore, unless if I actually needed to. Like, say, for instance, I was down to 98 lives, and I wanted to go back up to 99. I just need one tail. It's pretty much basic math. You guys can figure it out. So, the switch activates the door over there, but we're going to explore this passageway over here. And in here, we have a, thank you, golden pumpkin. And also, we have a nitro crate. Also, you guys may notice throughout this room that the sound effects for Jersey's, Jersey Devil's um, jump is disabled. I think it may be the room itself. I don't know. But I've experienced this before. Quite a bug in the game, actually. Now, in this room, we have another fighting spider that looks like Abraham Lincoln and also some falling stones. Watch out for the falling stones and defeat the spider to get a narf token. Now I don't know you, I know that you guys can't see very well in this room because it's dark, very very dark, but if we grab this firefly, we can illuminate the room so we can see better. Pay attention to the red meter as that demonstrates how much time there is left for illumination in dark rooms. Let's see what we can find in here. Hello? Are you serious? You again? You haunted me outside. Now you're haunting me in here? Next I suppose you're gonna haunt me in my dreams as well? What is the matter with you ghosts? You need a better job to do, like scaring people in local houses or something. Anyway, inside these chests we have narf tokens and extra lives. You can grab them, but watch out for the ghosts, otherwise he will throw you down that pit in the center of the room. We have everything now, so let's make our way out of here through this door. You'll never catch me. <laughs> you want to bet, Dr. Narf? I believe from here we're almost done with 3-1 the Crypt, by the way. So through the door, we have an even darker path than what it was before. Keep grabbing these fireflies so that you'll be able to keep track of where it is you're going without falling off. In this room, we have a live skeleton. Pretty simple to defeat, actually. Just knock it down once and then jump on him twice to get a Narf token. Another dark room in here, with plenty of things to collect. The nitro crates, the pumpkins, narf tokens, and fireflies. I'm gonna try to grab as much as I can without falling off. 
Honestly, I just love the music down here. Just listen to it. It's simply quite a masterpiece. With the exception of those fireflies, by the way. And speaking of those fireflies, I wonder if the Jersey Devil has such an insatiable appetite for fireflies, the more he's collecting them. I guess it's given their size and color that the Jersey Devil develops such appetites. I don't know, it's just a theory of mine, but you don't have to quote me on that. Okay, so out this room we go because we are now 100% done with this area. Checkpoint right here. Now we can keep grabbing the fireflies to make our way up this long winding path and ascend from the darkness. And I was about to fall off there. Good thing I backtracked. It could be quite a ways for us to go to reach the exit. But I think that from here, we are almost home free. Oh, it's just nothing but darkness down here. Not only is it sus suspenseful, sorry, but it's also depressing. Still, we have to keep moving forward. And here we can find the exit. Let's go. Another safe point for our game, but we're just going to keep moving. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Dennis, what's up? D hey! What gives you the right to step on a person's hand? Get over here! Committing suicide is not the way to go, but apparently that is. So here's the next boss of the game, Dennis riding a giant bat. And how you want to defeat him is pretty obvious, actually. Grab the bombs that Dennis tosses at you, and then just toss them back at him. It's going to take a lot of hits to bring him down, so just bear with me as I go through this. And also, you want to watch out for that attack as well. You can do so by crouching, but you can't do it while you're holding items such as bombs. Let's see, where did Dennis go? To survive this, you want to constantly keep moving and rotate the camera at the same time. Wow, Dennis, you just had to pull that off twice. I swear, if he... He pulled it off a third time. How many times is he going to keep doing this? He's making it much more harder for me than what it was before. So the thing with Dennis tossing bombs, he'll do short throws and long throws. Short throws you can go for, long throws you want to avoid, because you can't catch the bombs. Wow, he did that a fourth time. That's very, very annoying. I swear, when I get my hands on Dennis... The more I think about it, the more I wonder how it is that he was able to take control of a giant bat. It's like he found a way to... change the beast's natural habitat. And also, I think it may have used an enlargement ray in order to increase his size like he did with the frog back in the bat caves in the green park. Dennis is quite an insane mastermind. A worthy sidekick for the evil Dr. Narf. Oh, come on! Really? You just had to get out of the way. Come on, toss your bomb. Jeez, it's taking me longer than usual to finish this guy off. But then this is just toying with us. Let's see. Where'd he go now? Oh, he's right behind us. I could really use some help. That's the thing with boss battles. You can't have golden pumpkins. So you're completely on your own. Dennis is now down. Time to blow up the lab. So that takes care of everything in the crypt, which means we're one third done with the cemetery. There's Dennis yet again, and he's heading off to the next area within Jersey Town. But we are actually going to explore that another time and focus on a secret that can be found within the cemetery. <laughs> one day, Dr. Narf, one day you will go down for your crimes. I guarantee you it. 
Now you remember this giant slab from before marked with P level 5? Since we're at that level we can push it out of the way. Don't worry about the nitro crates along the way to the secret level because you won't be able to find any in there. Now without further ado, it's secret level time. So here we go, and boys are gonna get hot and hectic. Watch out for the hands on the way. If you get thrown off, you could probably save yourself with a glide. You can also ignore the pumpkins as well, if you want to. I'm really hoping I don't die on this slide. Okay, made it to the bottom, but we still have a long way to go. Checkpoint right here to keep us going. Another slide stands before us. Let's make good use of it and make our way down. Swinging axes dead ahead, you want to watch out for those as well. If you have a good look at the background, you'll see plenty of eyes that are just staring at the Jersey Devil. It's like they're staring deep into our souls even as we speak. Very, very creepy. In fact, this is my first time noticing that. Very scary. I'd hate to see things like those in the dark at night. I'm pretty sure you guys would agree as well. Dark path through here. Don't know why, but as long as we make good use of the fireflies, we will survive. Oh, I missed that firefly. But it doesn't even matter because I think that from here we have reached the bottom. And indeed, we have. Now let's set free the hostages if I can reach those cranks up there. It's rather tricky to get to, actually. Okay, there we go. That's one. Now let's get the other one. Okay. There we go. Both hostages are free. And now we can make our escape as well. Through that path over there with the chain. Up we go. So now we're two thirds of the way complete with the cemetery. And I guess I can go ahead and show you guys our second mission located within the cemetery. So once again, it's back to the cemetery we go to find our next mission, the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> I don't know why Dr. Narf is laughing. He's going to go down in the near future. Okay, so before we head off into our second mission, we need to find the six nitro crates to be found in the cemetery. It's very important that we find all of the nitro crates and destroy them before we head off into the missions. As you guys know, for the past fifth time now. Which means we're going to have to venture back into the depths of the cemetery. But at least we won't have to go down the dark crypt. Which is very fortunate. Luckily, I know where all of the nitro crates are. So it's not going to take me real long to get them all. And once we do find them all, we will be on our way. Okay, there we go. Another nitro crate over there. I'm skipping these enemies as we go, by the way. Because there's really no point in fighting them. From this point. Okay. Hi, Ghost. How are you doing? Good? Ah, oh, that's good. No, I don't want to play with you. Go away. Go away. Go find something else to do, stupid ghost. Leave me alone. Nobody likes you. Okay, so more nitro crates to destroy. A zombie to get past. Go find something else to do besides just lolling about. Go to a party or something. Actually, that would be a bad idea. Scratch that. Alright, from here, it is off to the second mission, the Haunted Mansion, we go. And just a bit of a heads up guys, I'm really looking forward to this level because as I mentioned before, I like Haunted levels. 
Now up this long winding pathway, you want to watch out for a couple of boulders. The small ones that you will see in just a moment are hard to avoid, but the bigger ones are easy to avoid. Just stay off to the side here to avoid them. Rather tricky to avoid the small boulders actually. Okay, so we're almost at the top and we have some NARP tokens for us to collect, which means that the only way inside the mansion relies on the NARP tokens themselves. So let's go ahead and grab them. Also, get a good look at the background. We have a nice view of this city. We now have all five of the NARP tokens, so let's get inside. Now, we could explore the Haunted Mansion, but unfortunately, guys, we are out of time, so I'm going to save that for the next episode. So in the next part, we are going to explore the inner workings of the Haunted Mansion in pursuit of Dr. Narf himself. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Multi Game Master 1, over and out.